Hello, welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. Today, we are going to check if a given number is a palindrome or not. A palindrome is a number that reads the same going forward or backwards. An example of a palindrome is a number like this, 343. Three. So, let's start and write code to check for us if a number is a palindrome or not. So let's create a method called check palindrome and then we let's pass an argument of type int and we call it num and then in there we create some variables as well that will hold our original number and we call our original number my original number and it will be equal to the number and then from there we create another variable called sum and initialize it with zero and then we introduce the while loop and then for as long as our norm is greater than zero, then we want our computer, our Java program to do this. So the first logic is to find the remainder. We create a variable that will hold, that will store the remainder. And to get the remainder, we divide our norm modulus 10 remainder. And then the next line of logic is get sum is equal to so it will be sum multiplied by 10 and then you add it to the remainder. So the, the, the reason uh, for this is to be able to to get the number that we will be able to equate to the original number later on when we do the if statement and then the next line of logic is uh, our num divide by 10 so the reason for this is to be able to to re keep reducing the number until it's less than zero so that will this one will stop our loop and then we will be able to print the number so from here now we use the if statement we will use the if statement to print the number we will say if my original number equals to equals to sum then then I want to sys out and then my number is a palindrome number is a palindrome palindrome okay else it will be the, the other the opposite so else my number is not a palindrome number right so I just put a not and then we create an instance of our class in order to call this method um, so equals to new and then we call our method here and try several cases to see if this code is working. So we call check palindrome and then pass an argument here. Let's say 343. 343. Three, three. And then run it. It's a palindrome number. Let's start on uh, 321. Two, three is also a palindrome number. Let's try that. It's a palindrome number. Let's try some random numbers and see. It's not a palindrome number. 
so that's it guys for today thank you so much